The way you live now determines where you're going to spend eternity. Amen. That's what have us preaching so hard. And I'm grateful that God gave us a message. And it is God given. Because there's no way that anybody would come to a tough message like this and obey it if it wasn't the Lord. To see all these people getting baptized in the name of Jesus Christ from one state to the other, from one country to the other. Many people try to credit me. I can't take the credit for what God is doing. Left up to me, I wouldn't be a preacher no way. <laughs> I wasn't on my knees begging God to make me a preacher and fasting and asking God put the word in my mouth and <laughs> all of that stuff. I didn't do none of that. Mm -hmm. Many years ago, God appeared unto me and said, I've appeared unto thee for this purpose, to make thee a minister. Hallelujah. All the work that we are doing now. The Lord showed me this over 40 years ago. Amen. Everywhere we're traveling and the results that we're getting, the Lord showed us this Amen. over 40 years ago. When I was in my early teens, 13, 14, and 15, Williams and I grew up together, and I was telling him about this work. Amen. I was only 13, 14, and 15. That's right. He couldn't see it. He, he just couldn't see it. What can a man see to have three gods? <laughs> First got to see one God. That's right. It takes the Lord to make you a preacher. Amen. You can go to all the seminary schools you want, go to all the colleges you want, is not a God sent preacher been made a preacher by going to school. Amen. School makes students. Amen. God make preachers. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are you listening? Being a preacher is a divine act of God. Yes. A lot of men is in the pulpit for the wrong reason. And many men that's in the pulpit needs to be taught all over again. And if they're humble and want to be right, they don't mind being taught the right way. But if you're hard head and more worried about your little cheap title, I don't care nothing about nobody's title. Because when you stand before God, he ain't going to look at your title. No, no. God going to look at you as a man or woman. Bible said, I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. Augusta, everybody in here, you're going to stand before God. I want you to get this. The purpose of church is to prepare you to meet the Lord. Nothing else. You don't go to church to shop for a boyfriend, to shop for a girlfriend. Church ain't designed for that. Church is designed to get you right with God. If you don't want to get right with God, stay home and go to hell free. Are you listening? The reason why I say go to hell free, because if you keep going to church, you won't go to hell free because you're going to give too much money on your way. <laughs> Stay home and go to hell free of charge. Free charge. Because the Lord says he's going to present to himself a glorious church. And this is the key. Not having spot. No wrinkle. Think of it. A clean person, if they got a spot on their clothes, they want to wash it out before they wear it. So he said not having spot. Then he says no wrinkle. Where there's a wrinkle, you know, the material's out of place. Right. A lot of time you got to apply steam. And depending upon the fabric, it may require more steam yeah. than other fabric. Yes, sir. A 
lot of time, depending upon how deep you are in sin, mm -hmm. it applies sometimes you need more hard scripture on you. Yeah. When you're really wrapped in that thing so tight. Yeah. See these sugar daddy preachers who don't preach nothing to hurt you. Mm -hmm. They just preach something to make you excited like the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. That don't hurt you. Make me lie down in green pastures. <laughs> that don't hurt you. No. Noah, Bill, and Ark can collect animals. <laughs> you will hear that all day and run all around the church. But the moment the word of God yeah. speak against your sins, oh, yeah. against your wickedness, mm -hmm. against your ill, ungodly, hell-deserving behavior. Amen. You know, today, hell is not a subject taught in church. So they look at me and say, that man ain't got no love. <laughs> I love you. That's why I preach about hell. <laughs> what is your definition of love? Someone that sound like Jimmy Swaggart? <laughs> Someone that grin all day like Joel Austin? <laughs> My face ain't frozen. The one that grin like the joker all day. <laughs> the Bible says God is love. Oh, yes. So love have one meaning. Mm -hmm. Truth. Because yeah. a person smile to you. I don't mean they love you. Mm -hmm. It's like a child that's <clears throat> not used to being disciplined. Used to having his or her way at their mother and father's house. As long as mother and father let the child have their way, they feel as though mama and daddy love them. Mm -hmm. The moment they go to grandpa and grandma's house, put that switch on his little backside. Yeah. They say grandma and grandpa is mean. <laughs> Do you understand? Yes, sir. And it isn't that they're mean. Grandmom and grandpa is teaching the child well-needed discipline. We're living in a time now where well-needed discipline must be in church. From pulpit down to the door. There was a king by the name of Nimrod. In the days of Nimrod, God let the human family do what they want to do. Theology or philosophy or cemetery school <laughs> called that period of time human government. Yeah. Bible ain't call it that. Yeah. I want to soak you a little. The Bible don't call it human government. Mm -mm. In fact, the Bible don't give that time a specific name at all. He just suffered all nations to walk after their own way. Uh -huh. They all came together to build a tower to reach heaven, and God scattered their language. And therefore, he frustrated them and scattered them, and they couldn't complete the building. Yeah. But as long as they all were speaking the same thing and on one accord, Hallelujah. they got work done. Right. The churches are scattered. Yeah. Preachers, scattered. Preachers feel as though they can preach whatever they want with no accountability. That's right. <laughs> you ain't getting away with that easy. No. You got, you got an accountability. You got the answer for what you preach. That's right. Everything you preach, if you preach something openly and it's incorrect, then you got to correct it openly. That's right. In fact, I want to work on jack leg preachers today. Amen. <laughs> Amen. That's what old school preachers used to call them, jack leg preachers. Yeah. Jack legs and would bees. Amen. I want to work on the qualification of a preacher. Amen. Because a lot of men been ordained, but they never been taught yeah. the qualification of a preacher. Mm -hmm. They think the qualification of a preacher is when you went to seminary school and you got a Ph.D. and you finish your doctorate and you come out and got your collar like you got the Bible backward. Yeah. 
Yes. And you get up using words that you don't even understand. That's right. Whenever a preacher is made by biblical order, mm -hmm. there's nothing fancy about his speech. For the Apostle Paul says, having this hope, we speak with great plainness of speech. Mm -hmm. Now, God did with every man according to his ability. All preachers don't have the same ability. That's right. No, not at all. And then all preachers don't hold the same office. That's right. But there's qualifications a man must have mm -hmm. before he's ordained. Amen. Now, I know various church organizations have numerous of ways of ordaining people. Mm. <laughs> I don't mean a thing. If your ordination don't coincide with the Bible, mm -hmm. then you take your organizational ordination and dump it in the trash. That's right. Because if you don't, I'm going to do it for you. That's right. I don't care nothing about your license. A lot of folk got license that shouldn't drive. <laughs> Am I right, I said? Because many people, many men, are honest and sincere and would do better if someone took the time and told them. Right. But I want the preachers all around the world to understand something. Before we go to the book of Titus, I want Ezekiel. Mm -hmm. Chapter 3. Quickly. Amen. I want all preachers to get this because getting up here, hooping and hollering and Break dancing and shaking and amen. 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 My God, man, if one person died, just one, and what you taught them were incorrect, the blood yeah. is on you. That's right. If a person you know is wrong and you won't warn them, mm. the blood, yeah. it's on you. Amen. I want you to hear me and follow me in your Bible. Get this. In the book of Ezekiel, chapter 3. Uh -huh. And we start at verse 16. All right, can y'all hear Williams back there? Y'all hear him back there, all right? Y'all turn Williams up a little bit louder, please. Turn Williams up louder. I want everybody to be able to follow me. I got a big mouth. <laughs> Amen. Even though I'm kind of sick and voice is kind of scratchy and whatnot, and when I swallow, I can taste blood all down in my throat. But uh, I believe heaven to get me through it enough to, to work on you down here in Augusta. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> you ready, Williams? I'm ready. All right, I want everybody to hear me. I want this to be good for them that say they preachers, mm -hmm. and I want this to be good for all men that got the preaching itch. <laughs> Amen. Uh -huh, because a lot of them broke out, broke out with preacheritis. That's right. You know, you know, you know the symptoms of a cold, <laughs> you know, a runny nose and whatnot, the symptoms of preacheritis is not hard to detect because most men that's eager to get in the pulpit, they can't even stand doing testimony service without trying to preach out there. That's right. You know, they just can't tell what the Lord done for them without trying to take a little sermon. Amen. Just tell what the Lord done for you and sit out. <laughs> That's it. The Bible said that all things be done how? Decently and in order. I want to soak you while I have you here Amen. if you stay here. <laughs> That's right. That's right. First Timothy, the third chapter. First Timothy, chapter three, and we started verse one. Let's go to work. It's time to put our our, our work boots on work now. Boots. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Time to put our work boots, on, boots now. on Amen. Glory to God. I want to put my, my, my holy Timberlands on. That's right. That's right. I want to work on the qualification of a preacher. Amen. And mm -hmm. I want to see who is called and sent. Direct, direct by the Lord. That's right. And who is appointed. That's it. Indirect. That's right. All right, let's work on the qualifications of a preacher. Now, follow me. First Timothy chapter don't 3. Don't tell me who are Daniel. I don't want to hear nothing about that. I'm going to the Bible. <laughs> That's it. I don't care nothing about no famous bishop, none of that. None of that. Because hey, if you look at the way these churches are Daniel, 30 men got their hands on you. Yeah. 30 different spirits. Oh, yeah. One of those, three of those fellas can be a homosexual. That's right. Four of them can love money. That's right. Another two can be a wife beater. Yeah. That's true. That's why Paul told Timothy, lay hands suddenly oh, no on man. no man. No man. 
No man. No man. Don't be hasty. Some of these men ordain someone to just come to church mm -hmm. and they ain't been there long at all. Yeah. They're a good tired and often giver. Yeah. And because they come to church through all type of weather, yeah. they want to give them credentials. Yeah. There ain't no credentials. No. Let me show you Bible credentials. First Timothy chapter three, we're starting at verse one. Yeah, and follow me. This is a true saying. Anything opposite from this is a lying saying. Amen. Because this is a true saying. Glory to God. Amen. What is it, son? If a man desire the office of a bishop. If a man desire the office of a bishop. He desireth a good work. No, she desireth. He desireth a good work. She desireth. If a man desire the office no, of a bishop. No, if a woman desire the office of a bishop. If a man desire the office of a bishop. And if you go to churches where you got woman bishops and woman pastors and deaconess and all that mm -hmm. recycled trash that came out of hell. That's you right. in a false church. Passed up by a false prophet Amen. and attended by hypocrites. Amen. I know some of you don't like it, and I don't care if you don't. No. Every church to have woman preachers is a false church false throughout church. the state of Georgia. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I said all of them. All of them. I don't care if you're UPC, United Pentecostal, mm -hmm. PAW, Pentecostal Assemblies of the World, mm -hmm. Church of God in Christ, Church of Pillar, Ground and Truth, Amen. Church of the Living God, Blue Church, Brown Church, the church in the upper room, the church in the dungeon. That's right. That's right. Jesus said, upon this rock I build what? My church. And if Jesus built the church, it's a sin for man to have on his sign that he's the founder of the church. That's right. You ain't the founder of no church. That's a lie. That's a lie. Get that lie off your building. Amen. There's one originator of the church. Go ahead. And Jesus is he. That's right. Jesus said, upon this rock I build I'll my build church. I build my church. My church. My church. That's right. When you say you're the founder of something, you're saying you're the originator of it. Yeah. How are you going to be the originator of the thing that was here before you? Amen. Are you listening to the old man? Yeah. This is a true saying. Hey Amen. We want to press out every wrinkle, you know. Yeah. And we're going to use we're going to use some good scriptural steam. That's right. Come on, son. This is a true saying. This. Glory to God is a true saying. If a man desire the office of a bishop. If a man desire the office of a bishop. He desires a good work. All right. Let's see his credentials. A bishop then must be blameless. Uh-oh. Mm, must be. You, wait a minute. Must be blameless. Must be. Must be blameless. When I examine your life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See how many wives you got? Amen. One. One. <laughs> Not divorcing God a second one. That's right. Not shacking up. That's right. Not making babies and you ain't married. Amen. Not smoking. Mm -hmm. Not gambling. Not playing the number. Yeah. Not betting on the races. That's right. Mm -hmm. Blameless. 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 Not preaching in church and pimp on your job. That's right. Am I right? That's right. This is the quality, this is the credentials here. A bishop then must be blameless. As what? The husband of one wife. How many wives? One wife. Oh, you that got second wife, sit down. That's right. Your first wife still living, sit down. Sit down. Amen. All of you that claim you're preachers or preacher wannabes, <laughs> and your first wife is living, yeah. and you got a second one, you know preacher. No. You know preacher, you listen, I don't care if, if a hand came out your toilet all danger. And every time you flush, the hand wouldn't let you go. <laughs> you tell Tidy Bowl man, you ain't no preacher. That's right. People have anything in the pulpit. Yeah. Any piece of garbage is in the pulpit, and fools are ready to say, that's a man of God. What is your measuring stick of a man of God? That's right. Because he passed through a church? Mm. Because he got bricks and mortar and lights mm. and got a following? That's not the measurement of a man of God. No, no. What do you use to measure a person's temperature? You got to get a thermometer. That's right. What do you use for the measure stick? The, as a man of God, mm -hmm. you got to go to the book. That's right. He don't measure to the book, fired. Amen. Amen. Fire. 
Hmm? Come on. A bishop then must be blameless. As what? The husband of one wife. How many wives? One wife. Listen, that don't mean you got to be married to be a preacher. No. The Apostle Paul wasn't married. That's right. Your, 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 the preaching shouldn't hang whether you got a wife or not, because right. Paul was not a married man. Right. But it lets you know how many wives you're allowed to have. One wife. One. One. Mm -hmm. And don't lie and say the Lord showed you another one, and your first one's still living, you liar. That's right. The Lord ain't showed you that. Your lower anatomy showed you that. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. The husband of one wife. What else? Vigilant. 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 You got to be a vigilant brother before mm -hmm. you can be ordained. Yeah. Uh -huh. Sober. What? Sober. Stable-minded. That's right. Come on now. There's more than one way to be drunk. Come on, yeah. Some folks think drunkenness is only off liquor. No, when, when you're drunk, that simply means you're taken over by something. That's right. And most of these men are taken over by money or women. Yeah. Most preachers, if, if, if they can get away from women and money yeah. and liquor. And liquor. That's the preacher's trinity. <laughs> money. That's right. Women. Liquor. Amen. That's the preacher's trinity. Oh, yeah. Because most time if you get money, a woman gonna come out of it. That's right. You shouldn't be paying nobody in the church hush hush money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, man. Amen. Amen. Membership getting low. You shouldn't be out trying to produce more members. That's right. In other words, the women in the church shouldn't be carrying your babies. Go ahead. Go ahead. Am I right, I say? Amen. When you talk to the sisters in the church, Go they're ahead. not honey bun, yeah. sweetheart, baby doll. No. No, the older women are mothers and the younger are sisters. Rebuke not an elder. The Bible says. In the book of 1 Timothy chapter 5 and at verse 1. Rebuke not an elder. But in but treat, treat him, as, him a as a father. And the younger men as brethren. And what do we call the older women? The elder women as mothers. No, sweetheart. Mothers. Baby doll. Mothers. Sugar pie. Mothers. Sugar pie honey bun. Mothers. And what do we call the young ones? The younger as sisters. And how do we call them that? With all purity. You, listen, hey, hey, preacher, when you call these young sisters sister, you sister. can't have no thoughts or no words behind it. That's right. When you say sister, it says do it how? With all purity. Purity. When you say sister, it come out your mouth clean, come your thoughts clean. is clean, and your heart is clean. That's right. When she leave out of your office, you ain't looking at her backside. Ooh, go ahead. Preach it, brother. Am I right, I said? Go ahead. Preach it. All purity. How much? All purity. You know, it ain't that many going to be ordained then, is it? <laughs> That's right. Amen. You see, this is not preached in church. No. Mm -mm, no. Mm -mm. Mothers are getting proud of their sons because they got little license, and then these false prophets give men trial sermons. Yeah. You see, that's organization. Mm -hmm. It ain't no one in the Bible ever had a trial sermon. That's right. Them the customs of the people. That's right. That's tradition. Tradition. There ain't no such thing as a trial sermon. Amen. Your life is on trial every day. That's right. That's, right. that's the customs of the people. Amen. Hear this. Back in 1 Timothy 3 and at verse 2. All right. A bishop then must be blameless. As the sword of God. The husband of one wife. One wife. Vigilant. Vigilant. Sober. Sober. Uh, stable. Sober. Be sober. Sober. Be sound. Yeah. Be stable. Mm -hmm. What else? Of good behavior. Hold it right there. Yes, Lord. That's right. My God, man, that's a meter that we can fill with quarters to Jesus, God. That's right. He got a what? Of good behavior. You got to behave right. Amen. Amen. Don't let your good be evil spoken of. That's right. <coughs> know how to good, behave. Good behavior. When service is over and there's some sister want to meet with you, uh, don't hold no meeting with no sister. Ain't no one in the building but you and her. That's right. That's right. Amen. Don't let your good be evil spoken of. Amen. Well, Pastor Jenny, you on prayer. Pray over the phone. Amen. I believe the Lord can get through them wires. Yeah. When you go visit the sick and there's a woman in that room, mm -hmm. take either your wife or some old mothers. Yeah. Why, Pastor Jennings? 
let the wife or the old mothers go in the room first. That way they can make sure that the sister in that room is decent. That's right. Before you go in there. Good behavior. Mm -hmm. You can behave. Good. Amen. Good behavior. Same way if you go visit the sick at the house. Yeah. Take some old mothers. Mothers so old you can't even lust after. Amen. 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 <laughs> Glory to God. <laughs> Take some of the old mothers or some of the old sisters. If your wife can't make it, don't go by yourself. Amen. That's right. That way you don't bring a reproach on yourself or the church. That's right. Amen. Amen. You got to use good judgment. Yeah. Bible said all things are lawful unto me, but all things are not expedient. That's right. It's lawful to pray, but it's not expedient in that kind of atmosphere. That's right. That's right. A woman got breast cancer. She don't need you to anoint her breast. No. No. Eh? Amen. Amen. Somebody may need a crowbar to get your hands off of. Now. Now, while I'm working on that, preachers, 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 you ain't supposed to use oil no way. No way. Unless someone is sick. That's in the book of St. James. The Bible don't give you permission to pray over nobody with oil unless, unless. they're sick. That's give me the book of James. James chapter 5, and we're starting at verse 13. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me with the Bible. Amen. You ain't sick. What someone got oil on you for? Mm. Mm. There's something to be appreciated and don't even know how to pray for people. That's right. Follow me in your Bible. I want to educate you today. James chapter 5, we're starting at verse 13. Listen. Is any among you afflicted? Any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Let him pray. Is oh, any, mm -hmm. It's talking to the one that's afflicted. afflicted. You pray. Afflicted. If you're afflicted, you start calling on the Lord for yourself. That's right. Uh -huh. Is any merry? If any merry. Let him sing songs. Yeah, yeah start singing. Is any sick among you? There's any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church. And what the elders do? And let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. But what got to be wrong with him? Is any sick among you? And then do what? Let him call for the elders of the church. And let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. Now, Mr. Preacher, mm -hmm. <clears throat> what apostle, what elder... What preacher in the Bible called for a prayer line? Mm. Let him call for the elders of the church. No, if you sick, you supposed to be calling for the elder. That's right. The elder ain't supposed to be calling for a prayer line. Amen. You got it wrong. Amen. Go ahead. That's what the Bible says. Is any sick among you? If there's any sick among you. Let him call for the elders of the church. No, let the elder call for the sick. Let him call for the elders let of the, the church. Let the elder call for the prayer line. Let him call for the elders of the church. The Bible ain't never give the elder permission to say, well, if there's anyone sick, you come on up and get in line where you get that from. That's right. That's right. The Bible says whatsoever things that are written aforetime are written for our learning. Yeah. What it said? Is any sick among you? <coughs> let him call for the elders of the church. And when you call for the elder, what should the elder do? And let them pray over him. The Bible ain't tell you get your wife and let your wife lay their hands no. on the breast. And then you lay the hands on the, on the wife. And somehow the Lord going to come through your arm like it's the worm. Come through your <laughs> arm. And go through your wife and then come through you. No, sir. Oh, no. Let him call for the elders of the church. That's right. You mean to tell me, Pastor Jennings, the women don't lay hands on nobody in first church? No. Oh, no. Give me the 16th chapter book of Mark. Mark. That's right. Mark chapter Let's 16. Let's go to the scriptures where these preachers go to. Listen at this. Mark chapter 16, we're starting at verse 17. Follow me. And these signs shall follow them that believe. And in my name shall they cast out devils. And right then when the preachers see that statement, 
these signs shall follow them that believe. They say, well, it didn't say whether women believers or men believers. It just say believe. Keep believe. traveling. In my name shall they cast out devils. Yes. They shall speak with new tongues. Yes. They shall take up serpents. Yes. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. Yes. They shall lay hands on the sick. Yes. And they shall re recover. Now, everywhere he just read, we see where men and women, and women done some of those. That's right. And then other things that he read, only men done it. Only men did. You don't find a woman in the Bible laid hands on nobody oh, wow. to cast out anything. That's right. You don't find a woman in the Bible laid hands on anybody oh, wow. and anoint them with oil. That's right. Come on back to Bible. Amen. And another thing, preachers. Hmm. Preachers, 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 preachers. Amen. When you pray for folk, yeah. who told you to say over them the blood of Jesus? Go ahead. Who That's told right. you? That's right. That's right. You mean to tell me all this reading in the Bible and you don't know what blood is for? What blood is for. You don't find an apostle in that Bible laid hands on anyone at no time and said the blood of Jesus. That's right. It never was used in prayer. No. Let's see what the blood is for in Ephesians. In Ephesians chapter 1 and at verse 7. Glory to God. Amen. Let's come back to Bible. <laughs> That's right. You see, a lot, a lot of us are what we call hand-me-down ministers. What you mean? We just done what we saw all others do. Yeah. We, just, we just follow tradition. Yeah. Others done it, we done it. Others done it, we done it because it seemed right. But Solomon seemed said right. there's a way that seemed right unto man. Yeah. And the end thereof are the ways yeah. of death. Yeah. You'll have about five prickly laid hands on someone. In the, in the blood. <laughs> the blood. Satan, I rebuke you by the blood of Jesus. That's right. Blood was not made. Yes. Blood mm -hmm. was not made Amen. to cast out spirits. That's right. That's right. The Bible said what blood was for. In Ephesians chapter 1 and at verse 7. That's what? In whom we have redemption. Through his blood. Oh, blood is for redemption. In whom we have redemption through his blood. And the forgiveness of sins. That's what blood is for. That's, that's right. It's to redeem you. Redemption. Redemption. When the apostles came to someone that had the spirit of the devil, they didn't come with blood. No, no. They came in the name. That's right. Hallelujah. Yeah. That's right. They come in the name. And it came to pass. Glory to God. Amen. They came with the name of him that blood was in. That's right. Listen at this. In Acts chapter 16 and at verse 16. Acts 16, 16. And it came to pass as we went to prayer. As we went to prayer. A certain damsel possessed with the possessed spirit of, of divination the spirit of the devil met us. Which brought her masters much gain by soothsaying. And what? The same followed Paul in us. Uh -huh. And cried saying, these men are the servants of the most high God. Yes. Which show unto us the way of salvation. Uh -huh. And this did she many days. She did it a whole lot. But Paul being grieved. All being green, turned and turned said to the spirit. And said to the spirit, I command thee in the name of I Jesus know, Christ. I command thee by the blood of Jesus Christ. I command thee in the name of Jesus Christ. I command thee by the blood. I command thee in the name. The blood. The name. The blood. The name. The blood. The name. Somebody went wrong, and it ain't the Bible. That's right. That's right. The power is Hallelujah. in the name. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Even David, even David came to Goliath. Hallelujah. Slinging that sling. I come. Hallelujah. In the name. Hallelujah. Of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He came in his name. Hallelujah. 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 Blood wash away sin. That's right. That's what the blood is for. That's right. For redemption to redeem you. That's right. When he shed blood, Hallelujah! Pressed him in the south, out came blood and water. That's right. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I told you the church got to come back to Bible. That's right. They got to come back to the book. That's right. Come on back to Bible. Amen. There's tradition, yeah. and there's the book. That's right. There's tradition, yeah. and there's the book. Amen.
We follow Holy Ghost tradition. That's it. That's right. Don't you hear the Bible say neither there's salvation in any, in other. any other. For there's no other name mm. under heaven among men, among men whereby you must be saved. That's right. It's, hallelujah. it's that name that got the power. That's it. Huh? That's right. That's why when you're baptized, you're baptized in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. hallelujah. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Name of the Lord Jesus, devils come out. That's right. Name of the Lord Jesus, blind eyes come over. That's Hallelujah. Right. Hallelujah. Name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Death ears are unstopped. Hallelujah. 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 Are you getting what I'm telling you? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. I command thee. I command thee in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Of Jesus Christ. To come out of it. Come out. And he came out. Come out. Hallelujah. Come out. Come out, I say. Hallelujah. Come out, I Hallelujah. Come out, I say. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Are you getting me? Blood, do not cast out devils. The name of the Lord Jesus cast out devils. You preachers, that standing over folk, yelling the blood, the blood, that don't move the devil. No, no. See, the devil is a spirit. That's right. And it takes spirit to fight spirit. That's right. God Hallelujah. is a spirit. Hallelujah. Only the spirit of God yes. can whip Satan. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Hallelujah. Nowhere in the Bible any of God's preachers stood over anybody and said the blood is against you. No, no. The blood is against you. No, no. <laughs> they didn't do that. No. They call on the name of the Lord. That's right. That's why the disciples said, Lord, yeah. teach us right. how to pray. How to pray. Hey. Teach us. Hey. Teach us. Hey. Hey. Teach us. Hey. Show us what to do. That's right. You gotta know how to pray. That's right. A lot of people's not being delivered yeah. because you're using the wrong stuff. That's right. You use the wrong thing. That's right. You use the wrong thing. Yeah. Use the wrong stuff. That's it. You gotta get that name. The name of Jesus Christ. That's above all other names. That's right. Are you listening? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Got to have that name. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Must have it. Hallelujah. If they don't have that name, they don't have nothing. You use the wrong thing. Glory to God. Yeah. You use the wrong thing. Nowhere in the Bible did the preacher say, Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. No, no, no. In the name. The Bible says, whatsoever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. That's right. When I'm praying, I'm saying words. And when I'm praying, that's a deed. I got to pull on him. Pull on God. I got to pull on Hallelujah. I gotta call that name. Huh? That's the name you got to call. At no time did the apostles say blood of Jesus. Oh no. They didn't say that. Oh no. And if they didn't say it, we ain't saying it. That's right. 
Come on back to Bible. That's right. Come on back. Amen. To the way Jesus done it. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. Hallelujah. Oh, it's a God. Hallelujah. Come on back to Bible. I command thee. We have done. We have done what others done. Yeah. And it seemed right to us. Seem right. But there's a way that seemed right. Seem right. But the end there are the way of death. That's right. You wonder why devils didn't come out? That's right. Devils need a name. Oh yeah. Cast upon them. That's right. Their blood ain't gonna phase them. No, no. Come on. Go ahead. Got to do it the way Jesus yeah. and the apostles done it. That's right. That's right. Huh? That's right. So when you pray, if you're not sick, Amen. no oil. No oil. You're not sick. Not sick. No oil. Is any sick among you? Do you hear this? Back in James chapter 5 and verse 13. Is there any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church. You call. That's right. Bible called the pillar preacher. You call. Anybody want a prayer line? He ain't do that stuff. No. That's church tradition. That's right. That's Women right. lay hands on people, and then the preacher lay hands on his wife, and, wife. and they all spoil the touch and agree. <laughs> yeah. Where you get this bundle of trash from hell. <laughs> Amen. The thing you better touch is that book, mm -hmm. and the thing you better agree with is that book. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. All right, let's go back to where we were. Everybody all right? Amen. I'm on, son. Let him call for the elders of the church. Uh -huh. and let them pray over him. Doing what? Anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. All right, let's go back to Timothy and get the preacher's credentials. Back in 1 Timothy chapter 3 and at verse 2. This is so good. The Holy Ghost got this out of my eyes so perfectly. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. A bishop then must be blameless. He must be blameless. The husband of one wife. One wife. Vigilant. Vigilant. Sober. Got to be a vigilant man. Vigilant. Not lazy. That's right. Visually, he don't mind working, getting things done, yeah. not looking to get paid. Amen. There's so many preachers that reach out to me and say, Pastor Jennings, I love to, you know, work with the ministry. Mm -hmm. but I don't have a job. I say, search the pages. Go out there and look for one because we ain't paying you. <laughs> That's right. I'm not on, if I'm not on no salary, you ain't getting no one. That's right. I, I work to take care of my wife and kids. We ain't work to take care of you. That's mm, right. No, uh, no, no. Go out there and get a job. The job. Apostle Paul was an apostle sent to the world, but even he had a natural Same occupation. Place. The That's Bible right. says he was a tent maker. tent maker. The apostles had natural occupations. They were fishers men. That's right. Matthew, he had a natural occupation. He was a tax collector. Amen. Go get a job and go to work. Yeah. Yeah. These preachers won't tell you the truth because you, they live off of you. Yeah. You pay their rent, you pay their gas, you pay their car note, you buy their suit of clothing, you buy dresses and hats for his old wife and all that folly. Go get a job or go to work or get out the pulpit and get ready to pack yourself for hell. That's right. That's why they're lazy preachers. Amen. Huh? Lazy. All right. Vigilant. Vigilant. Sober. Sober. Of good behavior. All right, you got to behave. If you got an overseer, you got to behave. Oh, yeah. And you got to be able to submit the chastisement. If, you, if it come your way, you got to take it. That's right. You got to take it. Amen. Huh? Amen. Amen. Because here you had the apostle laying rule here, telling Timothy what credentials. Now, mm -hmm. history, not the Bible. History says, not the Bible. History says that Timothy was the first bishop. That's yeah. a lie. That's a lie. Bible ain't never said Timothy was a bishop. No. The Bible specifically tells us what Timothy was. In first Timothy, in Second Timothy chapter four. Follow me. Second Timothy chapter four and at verse five. All right. But watch thou in all things. Watch in everything. Endure affliction. Endure affliction. Do the work of an evangelist. No, be a bishop. Do the work of an evangelist. No, be a bishop, Timothy. Do the work of an evangelist. The Apostle Paul laid it clear. Amen. So any man that says an evangelist, you cannot say God sent you direct. No. To be an evangelist, you got to be appointed by an apostle. That's right. Timothy was appointed by Paul. That's right. And then Paul told Timothy what work to do. Do the work of an evangelist. Do the work 
of an evangelist. And then Pastor Paul laid hands on him hands to on stir up the gift that was in him. Where, wherefore, do you hear this? In 2 Timothy chapter 1 and at verse 6. Wherefore, I put thee in remembrance, put thee in remembrance that thou stir up the gift of God stir which up is the in gift thee. of God that's in you. How? By the putting on of my hands. Don't tell me there's no apostles. Now you got to have an apostle to resurrect what's in you. That's right. That's right. These old fakers come along and say, Paul was the last apostle. Give me the 15th chapter, 1 Corinthians. Corinthians. Let's see what these dumb dogs go to. Amen. That's so, right. Pastor Dennis, why you called them that? Well, hope before Hold you back. get that, give me Isaiah 56 and 10. Going to Isaiah Because I know 56. somebody said, I enjoy him, but he calling names, dumb <laughs> dog. I'm just repeating after my creator. That's right. Give me Isaiah 56 and 10. Isaiah 56 and that verse 10. All right. His watchmen are blind. The watchman is the preacher. The Bible says he's blind. They are all ignorant. They are all ignorant. They are all dumb dogs. Roof, roof. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Dumb dogs. Roof, roof. <laughs> That's right. You hear the Bible talking? They are all dumb dogs. What kind of dogs are they? Dumb dogs. Imagine having a dog and you got a sign that says, beware of dog, and he can't bark. Right. You mean to tell me you're going to have him guarding your house and he can't bark? Amen. He just move his mouth like a silent movie, yeah. run up to the gate. <laughs> Nothing come out. It's time to put that thing to sleep. That's right. And that's the way the preachers are. The preachers call a dog because he's supposed to be a shepherd. Mm -hmm. He's supposed to be watching out for the flock. Yeah. And when something will come among the flock that's not like God, he's supposed to bark out against it with the word. Amen. But these things don't bark out against nothing. You put his no. dog pan in front of him, which is the offering plate, he no. go right to sleep. No. They cannot bark. Why? Sleeping. What? Sleeping. What? Sleeping. What? Sleeping. What else? Lying down. What kind of dog are they? Loving to slumber. Uh -huh. Yeah, they are greedy dogs. <laughs> greedy. I told you. That's it's right. written. They are greedy dogs. How greedy are they, son? Which, which can never have enough. Never have enough. That's why, in a, in, 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 in when a false prophet, the debt when, when he collect when it's time for offering, mm -hmm. he, notice the Lord always talk to these devils when money's being raised. That's right. After the offering is being collected, and if he feels as though he ain't got enough, <clears throat> he don't mind lying on the Lord right on the spot. That's true. He say, "Church, the Lord is dealing with me right now." He kalamba shakalwa sata, ramba 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 ramba. Uh -huh. You want to do the rumba, all right. <laughs> and right then he said, the Lord told me to tell you there's $10,000 more in the house. And if you give this $10,000, he's the Lord told me to tell you he will give it back to you 100 fold. Mm -hmm. Listen, I'm from the hood. Amen. Anybody from the hood know a, uh, a racket when you see it. That's right. Churches is the biggest organized racket in the world. Oh, yeah. And the most dangerous. You know why? They organize their wicked, perverted criminal activity under the name of Jesus. Yeah. They merchandise the name of Jesus. They abuse the name of Jesus Christ and misuse the name of Jesus Christ and manipulate it and take advantage of innocent, hardworking people. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. If we want to open up a church, we don't come trick the people. With my eyes all closed. Remember old Robert Tilton used to do that? Robert Tilton. <laughs> we don't do that. We come before the people. All right. We've seen a church in such and such an area. We want to buy the church. We're going to ask everybody to sacrifice an X amount of dollars so we can buy it. That's it. Let's buy it so we can go in that city and take it over. Amen. And kill everybody in town. Everybody in town. <laughs> we keep it real just like that. That's right. What did he say? His watchmen are blind. They are all They're ignorant. They're all ignorant. They're all dumb dogs. Dumb dogs. They cannot bark. Can't bark. Sleeping. Sleeping. Lying down. They're lazy. Loving to slumber. Yeah. They, they are greedy dogs. And they can never. Have enough. Glory to God. Amen. All right, let's go back to Timothy. Everybody all right? I want you to get this now. We're working on the credentials of a preacher. Back in 1 Timothy 3 and at verse 2. Uh -huh. A bishop then must be blameless, the husband of one wife. Yes. Vigilant. Vigilant. Sober. Sober. Of good behavior. He got to behave. Mm -hmm. That's why all ministers that work in the truth of God must send reports in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They got to have reports. So if we send them somewhere and we send these brothers all over the place, oh, they yeah. got to make a written report of what was done, what was preached, how many was baptized, how many received the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Most time, most time we don't let the ministers deal with the money. 
We let the financial secretary deal with that. Mm -hmm. Financial secretary take the money. That way the ministers can concentrate on the word. Right. He ain't distracted by greenbacks. <laughs> Amen. 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 If he uses his own money for something, then uh, and he let us know, the church will reimburse him. Right. If he got to go out there and go to the hotel, if he got to eat for gas or whatnot, I tell him, look, get your receipts together. Just turn over to the financial secretary. Then the church will reimburse you. That's right. Sometimes the minister say, no, Pastor Jennings, I'm glad I can do it for the work of the Lord. I tell him, hey, well, that's up to you. Otherwise than that, we'll, we'll, we'll reimburse you. Mm -hmm. Amen. All right. Of good behavior. You got to behave. Mm -hmm. You know what you mean, behave? You, when, when, when you're out of the presence of your overseer, you don't mm -hmm. use the pulpit to try to talk behind his back. That's right. You don't be one way in his presence, then another way behind his back. Amen. Right, when you like that, use a heathen and two-faced it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Eh? Amen. All right. Of good behavior. You got to behave good. Give in to hospitality. You, you, you can't beat your wife and be a preacher. Mm -mm. If you're beating your wife, you got to get out the pulpit and sit down. Oh, yeah. You got to sit down. That's right. Oh, mm -hmm. yes. What did he say? Of good behavior. You got to behave good. Amen. Mm -hmm. Give in to hospitality. Be hospitable. Know how to deal with people. Know how to treat people. That's right. Uh, At to teach. What? At to teach. Now you got to be able to break down the scriptures. And sometime I get, sometime to see how good can a brother teach or what he knows, I may give him a subject and tell him, all right, dive into it. That's right. Let me see what you know. That's right. Jesus Christ is God. Break it down. Get your scriptures and connect from Old Testament to New. Yeah. See what it means, but thou Bethlehem Ephrata, though thou may be little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of thee shall he come unto me. That is to be ruler of Israel. See what it means, the Lord said unto my Lord, sit thou on my right hand, yet is one. Yeah. Yes. See what it means, the scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor a law given from between his feet until Shiloh coming unto him shall the gathering of the people be, binding his fold. Tell me what is the fold, mm -hmm. and what is the choice vine? What did it mean he washed his garment in wine? When did the wine come into play? Mm. And his clothes in the blood of grapes. Right. I want to know what is the blood of grapes. That's right. Glory After to teach. God. Huh? After teach. After teach. Tell me what do it mean in the book of Revelation when I saw a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and upon her head was a crown of 12 stars. Huh? Who is the woman? What is the woman? What comes from the woman? What does the moon represent? What does the sun represent? What's the name of the 12 stars that represent the 12 tribes of Israel, the 12 sons of Jacob? Mm -hmm. After teach. After teach. After teach. What you don't know, don't touch. That's right. That's right. There ain't no harm saying, Pastor, I don't know. <laughs> I'd rather you say I don't know than get up and make a fool out yourself. Yeah. Are you listening? Amen. What is that? Apt to teach. Apt to teach. Not given to wine. What? Not given to wine. Any of you preachers that got lick on your breath, go somewhere and sit down. Sit down. That's right. The That's Bible right. speak plain. Not given to wine. No, dinner wine. Not given to wine. Lunch. Not given to wine. Breakfast. Not given to wine. Got a bottle of wine in his house. Not given to wine. Got a special bottle of Chardonnay him and his wife drank at night. Not given to wine. You heathen. I say you are heathen. That's right. You are heathen and an infidel. Amen. You can't be a bishop and an elder and a drinking wine. wine. The Bible speaks plain Not here. Not given to wine. Not. Not given to wine. Not. That's right. Not. Not given to wine. Amen. See how quiet it is? Very quiet. Very quiet. What did the Holy Ghost say? Not given to wine. Not given to wine. Amen. All right. No striker. Oh, it's two ways to strike. Yeah. When the word of God is preached, I don't care how hot you are and get mad, you can't get up and throw off on the preacher afterward. That's right. And you can't get upset you want to fight him. That's right. Man, the word of God have dropped so hard in many places of the world. Men have got so mad they want to fight me. Amen. One man got up and grabbed me on my shoulder. Amen. I just looked at him. <laughs> I mean, the word burnt his britches so tight. He jumped up and grabbed my shoulder. I mean, he dug his hands in there. I just stood there and looked at him. <laughs> you want to, you want to. Put your hands on my shoulder. Go ahead. Just, just let him stay there. That's right. Mm -hmm. perhaps, perhaps the Lord will take care of the rest. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> what did he say? No striker. 
I remember years ago when we bought a temple <coughs> in Newport News. And we was drawing back and forth there working to get the new, the new Newport News temple together. It was in the summer. So one day coming back to my hotel, I stopped at Shell gas station. And a man drove up. I'm used to people recognizing who I am everywhere. But a man drove up. And uh, he let his window down. He said, you Pastor Jennings? I said, yes, sir. He said, mm -hmm, OK. So he got out of his car, and he kept going up. <laughs> <laughs> Big old bald head. Man, his head was so large, like a giant llama bean was on his head. <laughs> he said, you took my wife. <clears throat> I said, I did what? <laughs> He said, you took my wife. I said, man, I don't know you or your wife. He said, my wife left me because you preach against some divorce. I said, your, your argument is not with me, sir. Your argument is with the Bible. He said, no, it's not. My argument with you. He went back in that car and pulled out a hunter's knife. And you know a hunter's knife is not a pocket knife. I had on leather sole shoes. I remember one brother said, why didn't you run? I said, man, how far are you going to get with leather, show, leather uh, sole shoes? And brother, he swung that knife. That thing just whistled. And right then, I forgot about Pastor Jennings. <laughs> hey, man, when, when, when the first breeze of that knife went by, right then, I was Nick from Huntington Park. <laughs> Amen. And uh, when he swung, I dipped back, and that knife, whoo, and right then, I, I was in Huntington Park mode. I, I, I was like, I can't believe this. <laughs> Amen. He swung again, I dumped a side step, and then he swung, and he lost his momentum. And then I just got on the other side, I said, I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> he swung again. Oh, he was, he was going to slice and dice me. Mm. Pastor Jennings, somebody said, why didn't you die for the gospel? I wasn't ready. <laughs> I wasn't ready. <laughs> See? That's one reason why a lot of folk respect me so. I don't try to project something that I'm not. That's right. I'm a realist, brother. That's right. I'm very real. Right. So, then one time he swung on me with all his might, and I went under him and guided him to the, we were still at the uh, gas station, and guided him to the pump, shoulder first. And it dislocated his whole shoulder. Boom. You can see it drop. Then the blade dropped. And I stepped back. You know, I'm looking in the gas station trying to tell the folk, call the police. <laughs> and besides them calling the police, they in the gas station. Just get... <laughs> hey, I ain't want that. Man, that fella must have been at least... Oh, he had to be over 250 pounds easy. He was, I mean, tall, tall. And uh, so by the time all that was over, then the police come up. <laughs> so I went back and I leaned up against my car, just breathing. <laughs> <laughs> so the ambulance came up and police came up. Sergeant came up to me and said, uh, aren't you Pastor Jennings? <laughs> I said to myself, it's the wrong time to recognize who I am. <laughs> so I believe it was the paramedics that they went to the guy, they, they looked at him and looked at me, they looked at him and looked at me. They said, you did this? <laughs> I said, yeah. <laughs> So I told the 
police what happened and they took a statement. And went on to my hotel and the sergeant reached out to me, said, Pastor Jennings, uh, we believe, you know, what you said. You want to press charges? I said, no. He said, you don't want to press no charges? I said, listen, the man beef or actuality was not with me. The man beef was with what I preached. That man wanted to kill me to get that second wife. The moment you speak against divorce and that second wife and that second relationship, folks want to put you in the grave. I got preachers, preachers fighting me all over the world because that divorce is what they're in and they rather go to hell than give up that second wife. That's right. Glory to God, but I'm going to stand on God's word. I don't care who it hurt. Amen. What did he say? Not greedy or filthy lucre. Not greedy. Hold it. One of the qualifications is what? Not greedy or filthy lucre. Wait a minute. You mm. can't love money. Not greedy or filthy lucre. I think that happened to me probably over, man, maybe close to 19 years ago, if not longer. Mm. You can't love money. Not greedy or filthy lucre. If nobody give you a speaker's offering, don't ask for none. That's right. Years ago, probably over 25 or 27 years ago, I let a minister speak from Jamaica, New York. And we didn't raise him no money. I didn't plan to. <laughs> he went back to New York and called me that Monday and said, he said, I enjoyed myself. He said, but you forgot something. <laughs> I said, what's that? He said, you forgot to give me an offering. I said, I didn't plan on to. Amen. I said, you come to preach, not to get money. That's I right. told him, you want money, go to work. That's right. It shouldn't bother you if a preacher don't give you an offering. Amen. It shouldn't bother you. You know nobody's going to want to give you money if you preach this type of stuff. No. Who's going to want to give you money breaking up homes? That's right. Running the second wife out, running this third and third husband out and making the wife put clothes on and make them. Hey, anybody want to give you money taking a stand like this? No. Knock the cigarettes out of his pocket and get the guns out your car. Mm. Mm -hmm. Nobody want to give you money. No. If they want to pay you, they, they want to pay you no mind. That's right. What it say? Not greedy or filthy lucre. You can't love money, preacher. Mm. All right. But patient. Now, when you're patient, you're not in a hurry to get in the pulpit. That's right. When you're patient, you're not in a hurry to get ordained. No, no. Um, these men get ordained, and all they did was stood up in the church and gave a loud mouth testimony. <laughs> I know what God done for me. Right then, a blind bishop would get together with him at the service and say, you know what? You got a calling on you. Yep. You know how many men end up in the pulpit because of that lie? That's right. All the man did was get up and testify, quoted a few scriptures. Preacher tell him, are you, are you a minister? Well, I know, sir, you got the calling. Mm -hmm. You got the calling. Amen. He ain't got nothing. I don't know where you going to say a man got a calling and all he did was testify and quoted a few scriptures. That's right. Amen. You see how many men in the pulpit like this? All right. But patient. Be patient. patient. Don't get a hairy to get ordained. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Not a brawler. Wait a minute. Not what? Not a brawler. Ah, the word of God hit you. Don't get up and try to beat up somebody. That's right. You can't be quick tempered. That's right. Can't be a quick tempered person. Mm -hmm. Even after that thing happened to me about 19 years ago, I had to go before God and repent. Mm -hmm. So I said, what? You were defending yourself. But the Bible says, don't uh, give place to wrath. He said, vengeance is mine. Oh, yeah. The Bible said that. That's right. And I, and, and I transgressed the Bible and I had to go before God and repent. Mm -hmm. and, I, and, I, and I'm not above repentance. That's right. Huh? That's right. I'm not above repentance. Amen. Pastor Paul said I have to bring myself under subjection right. unless I be a castaway. That's right. All right. Not a brawler. Not a brawler. Not covetous. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Not covetous. If the Bible says not covetous, then you shouldn't be desiring another man's wife. That's right. Don't desire somebody else's car. Amen. Don't desire nobody else's anything. Anything. It says not covetous. Not covetous. All right. One that ruleth well his own house. Uh-oh. Amen. One that rule well his own house. Ha Why? Having his children in subjection with all gravity. All right. Let's, let's look at your home, preacher. Look what go on in the preacher's house. Yeah. Cigarette sucking. Yeah. Partying. Dancing. Mm -hmm. Pants on the girls. Yeah. Pants on his wife. Yeah. 
Amen. And the Bible said a woman shall not wear that which pertain to a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment, for all that do so are an abomination before God. Right. You're supposed to have your house under subjection. What's your wife doing with jeans and khakis and overalls and deep cut necks and back all out? Splits all in her clothes and fingernail polish and toenails polish. Earrings, finger rings, bracelets, necklace. Why would the preacher wife have a jewelry box and the Bible speak against jewelry? That's right. That's right. Genesis called it strange gods. Strange gods. Eh? That's right. What did it say? One that ruleth well his own house. Rule your own house. Rule. Rule. If you can't rule your house, you ain't fit to correct the church. That's right. Did you hear the Bible talking? One that ruleth well his own house. Amen. No wigs on your wife. No dye in your wife's hair. No eyebrow arching. No fake eyelashes. Yeah. Eh? Well, on well. the preacher's wife and on your children. Mm -hmm. You got to rule your house well. 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 No mini skirts, no pants and hot pants on your preach daughters. It. It. Rule your house well. 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 Hey Amen. If your father's still living and your mother's still living and yet your father divorced his wife, which is your mother, and got another woman and they, they both can't spend the night under your house. That's right. Uh, no, 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 because you can't harbor adulteress. That's right. No, no Christmas dinners, no Halloween party, no Easter celebration, all under the bishop's roof. That's right. Huh? One that rule as well. No Atlantic City, no Las Vegas, Nevada, no gambling, no lottery. Go ahead. All under the bishop's roof. That's right. How much how you got the rule at house? One that rule as well. Halfway. Well. Halfway. Rule as well. Your wife, listen, if your wife do something wrong, open in church, then you chastise our open in church. The Bible said rebuke openly that others may fear. If you can't chastise your wife openly when you do something openly, don't you open your mouth when somebody else do something. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. Glory to God. Do you one, hear this? One that rules well his own house. You got the rule well what? His own house. Say what? One that rules well his own house. Your own house. Own house. All right. Having his children in subjection with all gravity. <coughs> you got to have your children under subjection. Yeah. No rap music in the preacher's house. <coughs> huh? Yeah. No rap music in the preacher's house. No uh, Suge Knight and no Snoop Dogg Snoop. and none of that trash. Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. Your sons ain't walking with their pants hanging down in your house showing his drawers. That's right. Your daughter ain't in and out the house with a skirt that big and a blouse that big. Yeah. Looking like a neighborhood hooker. That's right. All in the preacher's house. That's right. Huh? Having his children in subjection with all gravity. Even the haircuts that's on your sons are modest. modest. Mm -hmm. No duck tails, no gumby. No taking a little sponge and run across your hair so your hair can look like buckwheat, like the world. Go ahead. Preach it, brother. Huh? One that ruleth well his own house. Yeah, here you a man. Why you got banes? Why a man got a, a man bun? A man bun. What's the matter with you? Amen. God made male and female. No long hair on a man. And you all under the preachers, a preacher with long hair, mm. giving the 14th chapter, or rather the 11th chapter. chapter 11. First Corinthians chapter 11. And verse 14. Follow me. Doeth not even nature itself Doeth teach not you? nature itself teach you? That if a man have long hair. How do God feel about it? It is a shame unto him. Why you ain't got no shame, brother. Shame. Cut that stuff. That's right. Long Cut it, I said. Amen. You hear the Holy Ghost talking? If a man have long hair, what is it? It is a shame unto him. If the Bible says it's shame, why you don't have it? Right. Well, Pastor Jesus, I got my hair in dreadlocks like Samson. You ain't Samson. <laughs> huh? You ain't Samson. Get your hair cut. We ain't under no Old Testament Nazarite vow. No, no. We under the New Testament law. That's right. Huh? That's right. You got to cut that hair, brother. Cut it. Cut it. Mm-hmm. Amen. All under the bishop's roof, brothers with ponytails. All under the bishop roof, brothers with bangs. That's right. Under the bishop roof, a man bun. Amen. Under the bishop roof, he got a, a stash full of different color toupees. 
under the bishop roof. His wife got a cedar, a cedar closet of burgundy wigs, dark brown wigs, yeah. black wigs, silver and black, silver and blue and black. That's right. Got, got two hats on, two hats. a wig and a hat on that. That's right. What's wrong with the way God made you? Preach it. Get that trash off your head. Go ahead. Go ahead. All under the bishop's house. If you listen, listen at this. One, back in 1 Timothy 3 and verse 4. One that ruleth well his own house. This is doctrine, yeah. This is doctrine. This is a true saying. This ain't no request. This is doctrine. That's right. This is something that God ordered, and it got to be done. Got to be done. One that rule well. His own house. Mm -hmm. Amen. No boys in and out of your house for your daughters. Yeah. Your, your daughter's boyfriend don't spend the night there. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Your son's girlfriend ain't spending the night there. That's right. Boys in and out of your house like it's a station stop. Mm. Mm -mm, no, sir. Not under the bishop's house. That's right. No preacher, no preacher, no preacher. Pastor Jennings, if I run my house like that, my wife's going to leave me. Yeah. What do a profit a man to gain the whole world and lose your soul? That's right. Pastor Jennings, I understand now, but you, 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 know, you don't know my wife now, you know. I got I to gotta keep that bed warm. If you're that desperate for heat, wait till you go to hell. Hello. Lord. Anytime thighs, breasts, and legs mm. dictate the pulpit, use a false prophet. A false prophet. The only thing supposed to dictate the pulpit is God's word. That's it. If your wife don't like it, too bad. That's right. Preach the word. That's if right. your wife pack up and leave, preach the word. Preach the word. If your wife threaten you with a gun, yeah. preach the word. Amen. The Bible says be instant in season and out of season. Yeah. No Christmas presents for your wife. No fox, no furs. Why? Because the Bible says to be modest. Modest apparel. Modest apparel. No, modest ain't no mink coat. No. Modest ain't no silver fox. I remember my mother had a silver fox. And I brought that scripture in the first Timothy 2 9. Mm -hmm. Let the women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Modest apparel. Modest. She said, uh, Look, I'm. Uh, she said, this is my silver fox. I said, you either get rid of that dog or sit down. <laughs> if the Bible says modest, modest, who are you? That's right. The Bible said, who is my mother, sister, and brother? May he to do the will of my father, which is in heaven. Yes, God, man, when the word got done with her, she had a whole grill of gold in her mouth. Now, the Bible speak against the wearing of gold. I told her, you may as well get to the dentist, ma. She said, what? The Bible speak against the wearing of gold. I said, it's in your mouth for pride. Mm -hmm. God said, six things do I hate. Seven is an abomination before me, a proud look. It ain't nothing wrong with your teeth. Why you got all that gold in your mouth? It's a proud look. And God said, six things do I hate. Seven is an abomination before me, a proud look. You look proud if you're not proud. That's right. God don't even want you to look proud. look proud. All that gold in your mouth, it don't make your smile more better. That's right. My mother and my father went and got the gold out their mouth, got, took them wedding bands off, and took his military ring off. I didn't care if it was family. When it comes to the Bible, look, I don't care who you are. Do, are we clear with this? That's right. If there's anyone that I stuttered that anyone didn't get it. Didn't it doesn't matter to me who you are, where you come from. Come my God, if an angel come from heaven this afternoon, yes, he Lord. better bring what the word of God said. That's right. Pastor Paul said, as I said before, so sad now again, mm -hmm. if any man preach any other gospel, that differ from what we preach, let the angels be accursed. That's right. What he said? One that rules well his own house. You got to rule well your own house. If your daughter get pregnant, sit her down. Yeah. Don't let her function in the church and she ain't married. That's right. That's Walking right. around there with all that gut out up on the choir saying, sit down. <laughs> Amen. I don't care if you's a usher, sit usher the chair, sit down. Sit right down. That's right. You can't have no respect to person. No. If your son knock up a girl and get her pregnant, your son ain't married. Sit him down. Sit him down. Huh? That's right. Sit him down and make him come before the church. Amen. 
Make them come before the church and repent and sit them down. You sit them down. Are you listening? Amen. If these folks don't get no shame about their wrong, then they'll keep doing it with no conscience Amen. and no repentance. Oh, yeah. You got to get ashamed about your wrong. That's right. That's right. How in the world you expect for someone to be ashamed about wrong if you keep pacifying it? Oh, you make a little mistake, but don't worry about it. Next time, <laughs> ne next time, use a condom. <laughs> That's what they'll say. That's what they'll tell Just them. tell them to abstain. That's right. Abstain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want this to be good for my young people. Old school teaching is plain. No sex till you get married. That's right. <laughs> I'm going to help you, help you, help you. <laughs> yeah. That's old school teaching. I've heard, I've heard of churches giving out condoms to the congregation. That's right. I've heard of churches actually advertising over the air condoms the fourth Sunday. <laughs> Everybody in line, including the members. My Lord, my Lord. Bishop giving them blessed condoms. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Like he's a balloon man. That's the devil out That's of hell. The devil. Amen. This is what church has become. Church has sunk to an all time low. All right. all right. One that rules well his own house. You got to rule your house well, brother. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm? When you have weddings in the church, you ain't marching down on no worldly music, no worldly music being played, no half naked gowns on the bride, none of that stuff. None of that. No ring bearer, because we ain't wearing them. That's right. Mm -mm, no, no garters going up your legs, showing your thighs in church. What's the matter with you? Matter this with is you. God's house. Yeah. Amen. That's right. No one taking pictures all up under your clothes. Yeah. No, sir. Uh-uh. We don't change the word of God for you. No. Amen. The day I got married, I wore the same suit I preached in. You didn't get a tux for what? If my suit was good enough to preach in, it was good enough to get married in. Yeah. Got married that Saturday afternoon and preached that Saturday night. It was so many people, I told my wife, I can't let these devils go home. <laughs> I said, I just can't let them go home. Yeah, There's too many of them. <laughs> Man, the church was packed. People were standing wall to wall. That's right. My mother-in-law said, Gino, you going to preach? I said, yeah. <laughs> she said, what about your honeymoon? I said, that's after service. That's a lifetime. <laughs> That's lifetime. Amen. I read that God, we labored in word and doctrine that night. That night. Are you listening? Right. What it say? One that ruleth well his own house, mm -hmm. having his children in subjection with all gravity. Have your children under subjection. Don't let your daughter talk back to you, mother. Amen. Don't let your daughter give you word for word. Don't, if you set a curfew for your daughter, then make her stick to it. The role is playing, young people. You don't want to listen to your parents? Get out and get your own roof. Yeah. <laughs> Plain. Mm. You don't need no college degree to understand that. No. I'm a man. Then work and take care of yourself and buy your own house. Otherwise than that, go to Sears and be quiet. <laughs> All right. For if a man know not how to rule his own house. Look at here. Look at here. Look at here. I want all you fellows that are watching around the world and listen at this. Would bees, jack legs, fakers, frauds, right. artificial devils. Mm. If... A if a man, man know not how. If you can't even take care of your own house. To rule his own house. What? How shall he take care of the church of God? That's plain. That's what got me barking so loud. That's right. You can't take care of your own house. Why you got so much to say to people in the church? That's right. You can't take care of your own house. You ain't ready to be ordained. No. You got a cigarette problem. You ain't ready to be ordained. In fact, you ain't got the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue. You ain't ready to be all day. No way. Because one of the ingredients of the preacher, you got to be holy. Amen. How are you going to be holy without the Holy Ghost? Amen. You never spoke in tongue. You no preacher. No. In fact, you're not even in the church. Because the Bible says you're baptized by one spirit into one body. That's right. And if you ain't never spoke in tongue, you're not even in the body. Amen. Well, Pastor Jennings, I've been ordained. What else is new? Amen. I keep telling you, your license is not what make you. No. This is it right here. Oh, yeah. Read quick. For if a man know not how to rule his own house, 
How shall they take care of the church of God? And not a novice. Not a novice. Lest being lifted up with pride. And you fall into the condemnation of the devil. Now, what you mean a novice? A beginner. Right. You don't get someone and ordain them and they just got saved good. That's right. They just been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Just you see the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue. And here you don't throw a license on them and throw them in the pulpit. Mm -hmm. They ain't even been saved a good year or two. Amen. That's a novice. That's a beginner. Right. And stop trying to keep the church in your family. This ain't uh, the, squad, the uh, Luigi family like we the mafia. <laughs> Amen. Most churches are family churches. Yeah. The first one they want to ordain is their son or nephew, somewhere in blood. Yeah. We're looking at scripture. We ain't looking at blood. That's right. Preacher wants to leave the church in the hands of family. Now, this is the downside of a family church. When a preacher is more into family than he is scripture, then the preacher cannot make no decision until he get the family's approval. That's right. That's the devil's church. Amen. Your family ain't got no business running the church. No. The Bible runs the church. Amen. That's right. Your wife don't like what is preached. What right she got to say anything? She don't run the pulpit. And if you preach the truth, you don't apologize to your wife. That's right. She all upset, huffing and puffing on the way back home. You know she mad. You driving. Every, everything all right, baby. All right. And she looking at you. What do you think? <laughs> well, baby, I'm 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 sorry. I, I'm sorry, but I had to tell it like you will never get a real man of God for apologizing no for what God said. No. If you apologize for what God said, you's a heathen. That's right. You're not a preacher. Get out the pulpit. Not the pulpit. You're not fit to be ordained. Amen. Amen. Church can't move unless your family vote. Your cousins got to vote. Your children got to vote. Old grandma got to vote. Your uncle got to vote. <laughs> On what? On what God said? If they don't like it, that's their problem. Don't you know it's going to be relatives in hell? Yeah. Supposed to be closer to God than you are to anybody. That's yeah. right. Amen. Your wife's not supposed to be next to God. No. God's supposed to be alone yeah. with no rivals. Oh, yeah. mm. Wonderful. Hmm? Mm -hmm. yes, Amen. Either you're for God or you're not. Yeah. Yeah. We send brothers to different part of the world. They don't even know a brother to call me. Pastor Dennis, my wife can't go. What you telling me for? I ain't sending your wife no way. I'm sending you. That's right. You got to do like you don't have one. But this I say, brethren. Is, that, is it written, Williams? In 1 Corinthians 7 and at verse 29. Get chapter and verse. 1 Corinthians chapter 7 and verse 29. A lot of folk don't know the scripture even exists. It's like a desert island to them, uncharted. <laughs> That's right. Give chapter and verse again. 1 Corinthians 7 and verse 29. See, preacher, it ain't always wise to have your wife with you everywhere you go. Yeah. Suppose she get in a predicament where she can travel. Mm -hmm. Then what? Well, Pastor, you know, I'm, I ain't going to be able to make it. You know, I'm so used to having my spare with me. And she, and she want me to stay and go out to dinner with her. You, you know how it is, Pastor Jimmy. Spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. You know how it is. Spirit, spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. You, 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 you know how it is, Pastor. That's right. I want you to hear, hear, mm -hmm. hear now. First Corinthians 7 and verse 29. Listen. But this I say, brethren. This I say, brothers. The time is short. I told you. The time is short. It remaineth. It remaineth. That both they that have wives. They that have wives. Be as though they had none. You got to be like you don't have none. None. Amen. You got to be like you don't have none. None. When it's time to go to the house of God, go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't care if your wife just bought a brand new negligee from Victorious telling a secret. <laughs> just tell her, look, I, I visit you when I get back. Yeah. Time is short. Time is short. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Time is short. Time is short. <laughs> either you're going to do this right or don't, 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 don't
or get out the pulpit. Get out the pulpit. Right. Either you got to make it up in your mind to do it right yeah. or get out the pulpit. That's right. The most dangerous part of church is up here. Right. Yeah. Having a title don't mean nothing. No. You got to have a leader to teach you how things ought to be. That's why a lot of some preachers are slow because they know I'm going to stay on you like a pit bull on meat. That's right. That's right. When I sink my teeth into you with Bible, I ain't letting go. No. You can get all the spirit all you want. When you look back, I'm right there with you. <laughs> you can jerk all around, I'm right there with you. <laughs> I'm going to hang on to you until you die. Yes, you will. When you die, then I let you go. <laughs> Otherwise than that, I ain't moving to please nobody. Nope. I ain't moving to get a member, and I ain't moving to keep a member. That's right. Not me. God's first, not second. He's first. This is old school preaching. That's right. Hmm? Go finish that up and go to the first chapter of the book of Titus real fast. Finish that up in Timothy. Now, Come on, son. Still in Timothy chapter 3, now we're at verse 6. All right. Not a novice, let's being lifted up with pride. Don't get a beginner because he'll get beside himself. Haven't you met some of these preachers you can't call them brother? Amen. You can't even call them brother. Hey, brother Johnny. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm, I'm, I'm diocese district bishop. Who the boo, Johnny? <laughs> All these titles you got. Man, either you brother Johnny or, 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 or you my enemy. All these devilish titles, like nobody care about your titles. You're either a brother or an enemy. Is that right? Come on, Williams. Not a novice. <laughs> Get it out. Not a novice. Not a beginner. That's being lifted up with pride. They fall into the condemnation of the devil. See, a lot of these young fellows get a title to get beside themselves. Yeah. And then think they're higher than they ought to think. Mm -hmm. uh, can't take reproof. That's right. Can't take correction. That's why when the minister just start out, the church shouldn't push them fast. Don't push them. Don't even praise them too much. Yeah. Mm -mm. I tell the members, whenever, if you tell the minister, well, we enjoy you. The minister should always respond, pray for me. That's right. Somebody yeah. say, well, brother, I enjoyed you. Don't say, yeah, I did do a good job, didn't you? You old self-righteous hypocrite. Self -righteous. You're not humble. No. You got to be humble. Uh -huh. Moreover, he must have a good report. Uh-oh, you got to have a good report of where? Them, of them which are without. Them that are not in the church, you got to have a good report among mm -hmm. them. You can't be out there smoking among them, right. drinking among them, gambling among them, and then all of a sudden you reverend fill me all over. <laughs> Amen. Huh? That's right. Anybody out there going to respect you? No. How you going to give a sinner a light and then tell them you got to cleanse yourself from all filthiness of the flesh? Hey, brother, you got a light? Why, yeah. You got to clean yourself. Smoking is a sin, though. And you giving him a light. <laughs> giving him a light. He must have a good report of them which are without. Must. You can't even sin with your job. You drive, you Uber, huh. and they call out an address, and you know it's a club. No, it's you can't take them. No. Nope. Because you're stripped in the hands of evil doers. That's right. You got your CDL license. You can't haul whiskey. No. You can't haul liquor. No. You can't haul beer. Mm -mm. Bible said wine is a mark of strong drink is raging. He doesn't deceive their buys, not wise. Not wise. <laughs> Amen. Holiness is not like nothing else. No. Holiness is all God. Holiness. You a preacher? Why are you dyeing your hair? What's wrong with the way God made you? That's right. My hair's too great. Who you trying to impress? Mm. Leave it the way God have it. Amen. That's right. Thank the Lord. Amen. Dying your hair, dying your eyebrows, yes. dying your mustache, dying your... Get, 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 be the way God made you. Stop being a fool. <laughs> Amen. Old mothers, dying your hair jet black and your eyebrows are silver. <laughs> What's wrong with the way God made you? Yeah. I get your questions this evening, sisters. What's wrong with the way God made you? Yeah. Follow me. Mo moreover, he must have a good report. You got to have a good report among them, them that are without. Lest he fall into reproach. I told you. That's 
true. Unless you fall in reproach. And the snare of the devil. If someone take your name and slander it and you know it ain't true, don't sweat it. Don't worry. That's right. Because they're going to talk about you all day. That's right. What is it? Lest he fall into reproach and the snare of the devil. And Likewise. Wait a minute. You take that sister home from church, have another brother with you or, or mother. Yeah. And you sisters don't be forward. Hate you to jump in somebody's car. Don't be fast. That's right. Amen. Don't be in a long conversation in a married man's face. That's right. Old school mothers will pull you to the side. All right, sister, that's long enough. Let's come on. Come on in now. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's old, that's old, old school strict mothers. Yeah. Huh? Amen. Preacher's wife, yeah. You gotta get your dresses down. Young folk, get your dresses down. No mini skirts and skirts or dresses down to your calf. Mm -hmm. Get them down. Drop the curtain. <laughs> Let right. that string go and drop the curtain. Drop the curtain. Yeah. Amen. First chapter, the book of Titus, quickly, so Titus, I can knock off. Titus chapter on, one. Son, we'll uh, start at verse one. That hour, that clock is an hour forward or behind. What time is it? It's one fifty-one. All right. Read quick. Titus one and at verse one. You got to read fast. Paul, a servant of God and an apostle of Jesus Christ. The apostle Paul was God called, God made, God anointed, God instructed. He was an apostle of Jesus Christ. According to the faith of God's According elect. According to the faith of God's elect. And the acknowledging of the truth which is after God. You got the right spirit. You would acknowledge what the Bible says. In hope of eternal life, which God that cannot lie. What did he do? Promised before the world began. Uh -huh. And in due times manifested his word through preaching. God, that's how God is getting his word over church. Through preaching. God is getting his word over through preaching which is you can jump and shout and all you want they ain't the major part of wish up is the message that's right the yeah. message is wrong everything is wrong yeah uh -huh. but as in due times manifested his word through preaching all right which is committed unto me according to the commandment of god our savior real quick to titus my own son after the common faith to grace. titus my own son after the common faith grace mercy and peace from god the father and I, the lord jesus christ well, our savior for this cause left I the increase. Now, the apostle got the authority to tell you where to go, yeah. when to go, what to do when you get there, how long to stay there. That's right. Don't you hear Paul instructed Titus, left I the increase. That thou shouldest set in order the things that are wanting. Wait a minute. I left you in Crete to do what? Thou shouldest set in order the things that are wanting. If I send a minister somewhere... Then your, your job is to put things in order in if order. it's out of order. That's right. But how are you going to put things in order if you're out of order? Amen. Amen. Order in the church. That's right. Hmm? That's right. Got to have order in the church. The got church got to have order. Got to have order. There ain't no half, no half naked women on the choir singing and all that stuff. Order yeah. got to be in the church. Yeah. Women got to have your head covered. That's right. This is not having your head covered. That's a head decoration. Yeah. 11th chapter of 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians 11. You know, when I came up in falsehood, they called these chapel caps. Yeah. Huh? Chapel cap. That mess ain't covering your head. No. Huh? no. Listen. 1 Corinthians 11, we'll start at verse 3. Real quick. At verse 4. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. All right, brother, when you pray and serve in God, you have your head covered, covered. because you dishonor God. But every woman, every woman that prayeth or prophesies with her head uncovered, what is she doing? Dishonoreth her head. When you worship in God, you have your head uncovered, you dishonor your head, and your head, woman, is the man. That's right. Now, the preachers out of ignorance read further, where it says that a hair That's is a covering. a covering. Let's read that. First Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 15. But if a woman have long hair, what is it? It is a glory to, to her. Wait a minute. If a woman have what? Long hair. It if is a, a woman have what? But if a woman have long hair. And you didn't buy it. That's right. <laughs> it said if she have it, not if she if, bought it. If, if a woman have long hair. If she have it, not if you buy it. That's right. I want it to be good for you two hat wearers. That's right. All of you take your wigs when you go home and burn them. Burn them. Burn them. Burn them. That's God right. said, I hit every false way. Burn them. That's right. You better be the way God made you. Imagine Pastor Jennings come back to Augusta and I got a long wig on like Daddy Grace hair. <laughs> hair come all the way down and then Williams got one on, on his head. <laughs> My Lord. Be the way God made you. That's right. 
Love the way God made you. That's right. That's right. Love the way God Amen. made you. Amen. Amen. All right. But if a woman have long hair, it is a glory to her. Mm -hmm. For her hair is given her for a covering. Right then, the dumb preachers say, well, you ain't got to have nothing on because your hair is a covering. covering. So a woman ain't got to put nothing on her hair. Fool. Mm -hmm. <coughs> the Bible says you're fool and slow of heart. That's right. Covering don't mean covered. No. Two different words. Yes, if man Bishop Williams is laying carpet, and one of the sisters say, what y'all doing? Because you wear them and say, we are covering the floor. Right. right then, he's telling you the floor is not covered, it's incomplete. That's right. Because it's, it's covering. Covering. He said, come on back in 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. It'll be done. When she come back, she say, oh, the floor is covered. 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 Complete. Right. Covering. Incomplete. Incomplete. You think Paul was going around telling women to put hair on? <laughs> Amen. Paul wasn't doing that. Walgreens and CBS is doing that. <laughs> That's right. Not Paul. No. I want you to hear the old man now. Amen. What did he say? For her hair so you is You that got your her. fake hair, fake hair extensions, fake ponytails, fake bangs. Fake. Why can't you love the way God made you? You want to be like all these entertainers and all of this stuff that you see on the social media and on television. Right. Love the way God made you. You look at the way our women have become now. Fake lips. Got all this Botox all in your lips. Can't even hardly talk. What's your name? <laughs> How you doing? Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> What's wrong with the way God made you? That's right. When God looked at his creation, he said, it is good. 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 If it's good enough for him, why can't it be good enough for you? That's right. The media made you hate yourself. Yeah. So you want to look like some rap artist, and some uh, movie, star movie star with fake this, fake that, fake the other. Yeah. That's why I don't take your body long to collapse when you die. That's right. That stuff get rotten so fast because most of it ain't real. Yeah. All you hear is a bunch of balloons popping in the casket. Huh? A slow leak there. Psst. Air coming out of that. Psst. Air coming out of that. Psst. What's wrong with the way God made you? That's right. Getting all these fake silicon and old empty uh, 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 inner tubes and old newspaper stuffed all in your hips. And then some doctor do it wrong, and one hip down here, one hip up there. And you walk, running while you walking like John Wayne. Huh? Glory to God. Huh? Hallelujah. Be the way God made you. That's right. We want our women to love themselves, because why would you look for love from a man and you don't even love yourself? Amen. Love yourself. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? Amen. When you love yourself, you will realize that you don't need paint. You don't need artificial this. You don't need artificial that. You don't need all this glitter like a Christmas tree. That's right. Because what God made, he made good and good. did a good job. That's right. You don't need tattoos on you. Yeah. Men or women. Men or women. What, Pastor Janice? Give me the book of Leviticus. The book of Leviticus I want it to be good for you that got your ink and you that got a mind to get your ink. In, in Leviticus chapter 19. Follow me. And we're at verse 28. Here you got your old boyfriend name written on you. He, you ain't been with him. Got about five boys written on you like an obituary column. That's right. Are oh, you listening to the troublemaker? Amen. Come on. Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 28. Uh -huh. You shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead. Yes. Nor print. Nor print. Any marks upon you. Who said it? I am the Lord. Nor print any marks upon you. All right, tattoo you. wears. I am you the think Lord. think you look good with it? You deceive of the devil. That's right. You look dirty. You look filthy. Yeah. When you get older, that tattoos don't remain smooth. No. They start changing. That's right. 
That's I right. look at these young girls out here with babies, thank God, and the moment that little baby, not even one, got an ears pierced. Got his ears pierced. Not even one years old, ears pierced. That's right. Little boy being raised to be a pimp or a dog by his father. Yeah. That's, what, that's the way his father presented his son. This is my little dog here. Yeah. You're teaching your son to be a garbage eater. That's right. Or you, tell, or you present your son, this is my little pimp. You're teaching your son to be a womanizer. Amen. How did our men get so uncivilized and so ignorant and so full of hell that you will answer to the call of pimp or dog? Yeah. What's so honorable about the title? Yeah. Pimp, dog, what's so honorable? Trash eater, garbage eater, vomit liquor. Yeah. And a womanizer. And a womanizer. Then you answer to dog and pimp. Yeah. Use a fool and a good fool. That's a fool. Amen. Are you listening to the old man? Nor print any marks upon you. Who said it? I am the Lord. Finish up Titus real quick so I can knock off. Back in Titus 1 and at verse 5. All right. For this cause left I the increase. That thou shalt set in order the things that are wanting. And ordain elders in every city. Who appointed them. As I had appointed thee. Now, if you are elder or claim you are elder or a bishop, the apostle ordained the elder. Yeah. And an elder cannot be ordained by another elder unless he got permission from an apostle. Yeah. Because Titus is getting permission from Paul. That's right. That's right. This is how the church is set up. Yeah. This is the order for the church. All right. And ordain elders in every city as I had appointed them. What's the criteria? If any be blameless. All right. The husband of one wife. All right. Having faithful children, not accused of right or unruly. Wait a minute. Your children cannot be all blasting the radio all in the house, all loud and foolish. You ever got a house in the neighborhood? It's like it's one in every block hmm. where everything is just haywire. That's right. Everybody hang out there. The music is loud. It's more. It's like the people sit on the steps like cats and dogs. That's true. No respect. Wow, barbaric. Yeah. Eh? For a bishop must be blameless as the steward of God. What? Not self-willed. You can't be self-willed. You got to take the word of God if you're about to bust open. <laughs> Amen. Eh? I mean, if you got to bust open, just tell someone have some needle and thread nearby. <laughs> You got to take it. Take it. it may be hard to begin with, but you got to take it. That's right. A real man to come up to it. That's right. Uh -huh. Not soon angry. You can't get mad quick. If the word of God make you so angry, you can't. Listen, the Bible don't forbid you to get angry. It says, be ye angry, say but say not. not. And it says, not soon not angry, soon. mean you can't be quick tempered. Yeah. Uh -huh. Not given to wine. Uh-oh, there it is again. Mm -hmm. So when you go back home, get rid of all your liquor. That's right. I want it to be good for you juicers. <laughs> huh? That's right. You juicers. <laughs> Amen. You old liars as you drank it in moderation. There's only two places in the Bible that allow you to drink wine. That's Lord's right. Supper, for the Bible said the cup is in the Lord's hand and the wine is red. Mm -hmm. And also the Bible said in the book of Timothy that drink, uh, no longer water. drink no longer water, but use a little wine for thy stomach's sake and often infirmity. <laughs> It says a little wine, little, little, so little until you don't even know you have it. <laughs> That's right. You ain't got no business preacher got so much wine in his gut. When he sweat, he smell like Jack Daniels. Yeah. <laughs> wine all on his breath, wine in his office, wine at home, That's right. wine in his glove compartment, driving, drinking wine. He's a wine bibber. Amen. And mm -hmm. In fact, the Old Testament said the priests and the prophets have erred through, through, through wine and through strong drink. They are out of the way. Out of the way. All right. Not given to wine. What else? No striker. Oh, no striker. Not given to filthy lucre. Wait a minute. Can't love money? Not given to filthy lucre. No $500 prayer line. No $2,000 prayer line. No $5,000 prayer line. Mm -hmm. I want to all my television viewers to get this. If a preacher get over the air or get in your church and say if the Lord just spoke to him and say he'd uh, give $10,000, that preacher have blasphemed against God. That's right. He's a liar, and I don't care if he's your pastor. Amen. Amen. These men ain't got no conscience, like Creflo Nickel. <laughs> because he's too cheap to even be called dollar. Too cheap. And they get over the air, the Lord says, 
I need a new jet. Mm. A jet. $65 million and got it. Got it. I asked somebody to ask me, Pastor Jennings, if a rich person want to give you a jet, would you take it? I say, yeah, then I sell it. Yep. <laughs> See, in my line of business, I flip property. Mm -hmm. I take the jet and I flip it so quick. <laughs> flip it. Flip it. <laughs> flip it and take, that, take those millions and expand the work of God. That's right. Expand the work of I don't need no private jet. I don't need no private jet and don't want none. I don't want no private jet for what? I can't trust no one flying me with a gospel like this. That's right. <laughs> huh? <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> Sitting back there with a parachute all the time. I mean, up there with a parachute, just looking. <laughs> no, sir, man. That's right. I stick to Delta or America yeah. or USA. Yeah. That, that, that works for us. Amen. Come on, son. Not given to one. Oh, yes. I've, I've had millionaires that watched the program and sent me word direct by some of my other brothers and said, Pastor Jennings, we, we, we give him access to our private jet whenever he wanted. We watch the program and uh, any way he want to go in the world. And, they, and, and, and the brothers are still telling me, listen, man, the man said he can use it. I'm like, no, that's all right. <laughs> That's all right. I don't know the pilot. That's all right. Uh -uh. All I need is to get 32,000 feet. Pastor Jenner, uh, listen, you, you talk about that divorce. I don't want to hear that now. <laughs> huh? I don't want to hear that now. I don't want that play. Where my parachute at, man? I don't want to hear that. Glory to God. Amen. Come on, son. Not given to one. <laughs> Not given to why? No striker. No striker. Not given to filthy lucre. You can't love money, preacher. You can't love money, preacher. You can't love money. You shouldn't be stealing. You shouldn't be skimming off the top of the church. That's right. Not even a half a nickel. That's right. There's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars that have passed through my hands. I haven't stole a penny since I've been black. And I've been black for 55 years, and I don't think I'm changing colors. <laughs> I fear God too much. I ain't stealing a dime. Yeah. All right. But a lover of hospitality. Yeah, show hospitality. A lover of good men. Not men that love men. Right. A lover of good men. Good men. Good men. I love good men. That's yeah, right. A man that act like a man. Holy man. Act like the Bible said a good man steps is ordered by the Lord and he directs his path. That's right. Yeah, love good men. What yeah. else? Sober. Stable minded. Yeah. Men Sober. that are unstable, they're like a chameleon. Yeah. They agree, they agree with any rotten thing that come along. Yeah. You know, when I go to the churches in Jamaica, I see a lot of chameleons, you know. And mm. I remember one day I was coming out to my hotel and the hotel I came out, the wall was real pink. And the chameleon was on the sidewalk, and I was just looking at it. Mm -hmm. His body turned gray, like the sidewalk. I looked at the, the wall, looked at him, and I'm saying to myself, now, now how are you going to pull this off? <laughs> he got on that wall. A few seconds later, he turned just as pink as that wall. Mm. And I said to myself, that's the spirit that's in man. Yeah. There's some men because they are afraid to stand up for God, they will agree with every piece of garbage because they're scared to offend somebody. That's right. Why is it that even church people are afraid of people more than you fear God? Yeah. A man who don't have nothing to die for is a man who don't have nothing worth living for. That's right. Real quick. Just. You got to be honest. Mm -hmm. Be an honest man. Yeah. Amen. Amen. If I heard you stole some church money, I'm not going to take people's word. I'm going to come to you. I got to go to the source. That's right. Because the apostle said that I may see you face to face. That's and if right. I ask Williams, listen, I heard you stole the $25,000 of church money. Did you do it? And if he's honest, yeah, Pastor, I stole it. All right, Williams, I forgive you. Thank you, Pastor. You're fired. <laughs> Fire. Amen. Amen. Fire, I said. I don't want no reading thief. <laughs> Why? I won't be able to trust him. That's right. I have to sit him down until he overcome his stealing. That's right. 
Say, well, he need to sit down yeah. till he till he overcome that itch, you know. That's right. And then when he overcome that itch, then you know, then I put him back reading, but I keep money away from him. That's right. You got to be wise now. Yeah. Uh, if there's any brothers among the congregation, and there's a lot of you in the back that the people can't see. If you got a problem with money, don't even, and if you're asked to collect offering, be honest enough and say, no, don't call me. Right. I had a brother follow me, Brother Titus. <laughs> brother Titus, you know. Yep. And we was on our, at our old headquarters on Frankfort Avenue. So one evening, <laughs> we asked the brothers to collect offering, and they called Brother Titus. Titus said, nope, you don't want me. <laughs> True. I said, wait, wait, wait. I said, hey, hey, brother Titus. I said, why, why not, brother? He said, Pastor Dennis, I can't promise you that that money is going to that financial office. He said, I'm being honest. I said, Titus, you know what? I respect what you say. He said, thank you, Pastor Dennis. I said, you will never be asked again. Never. 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 Come on. Holy. Do you know how many men won't rob you today? Won't do it. These preachers that they are thieves with no conscience. Yeah. No conscience. No conscience. If you don't have no conscience about your wrong, you don't fear God. That's right. And if you don't fear God, you will add sin to mm -hmm. sin. Mm -hmm. It's a chain reaction. You will add sin to sin until your conscience becomes seared with the hot iron. Right. No remorse, and you will never repent. That's right. And you will be lost, God knows. Amen. All right. Just. Honest. Holy. What? Holy. If you haven't spoken in tongues, don't you ever get in the pulpit and try to preach. That's right. You got to have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. Everywhere in the Bible when the Holy Ghost fell, they speak in another tongue and the Spirit gave utterance. That's right. Every place where the Holy Ghost fell, they spoke in tongue. They spoke in tongue the day of Pentecost. When the apostles went down to Samaria, Samaria. after the Samaritans heard the word of God from Philip, mm -hmm. the apostles came in town and laid hands on mm -hmm. them, and they received the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue. While Peter spake the word, when he went down to Cornelius' house, the Holy Ghost fell on all of them that heard the word, and they that would believe were astonished, even those that came with Peter, because on the Gentiles also was put up the gift of the Holy Ghost. How did they know they had it? The Bible said they heard them speak with tongue and magnify God. And here you walk around today, claim you got the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. You ain't speaking in tongue. You got a spook. You ain't got the Holy Ghost. Amen. <laughs> Jesus made it plain. Yep. These signs shall follow them that believe. Shall. They shall speak with new tongue. Mm -hmm. Now, focus on the language of the Bible. Mm -hmm. The Bible used the term new tongue. The Bible used the term other tongue. The Bible used the term unknown tongue. All three is the same. Yeah. There's three adjectives describing the one move of God. Why is it called new tongue? Because it's new to you, you never spoken before. Why is it another tongue? Because it's different from your native tongue. Why is it unknown tongue? Because in the spirit you speak of mystery unless you got an interpreter. All right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? That's right. All right. Holy. You got to be holy. Holy. Now, if you got the time of Holy Ghost that your preacher turn off and on, mm -hmm. what do you mean, Pastor Janice? Anytime you got a Holy Ghost and a preacher come and say, when I count to three, you're going to speak in tongue. Get ready, church. One, everybody gets getting ready. <laughs> Two, three. <laughs> you ain't got the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. You don't even, you, listen, you don't even have a friendly ghost. The Holy Ghost is the power of God. That's right. No man can turn it on, no man can turn it off. That's right. It is written as the Spirit give utterance. And no preacher got the right to tell you how often you should speak and when you should speak yeah. and where you should speak because it is the moving of the Holy Ghost only. That's right. If you got a Holy Ghost you can't feel until you see Pastor Jennings, you of the devil. Go back to the altar. Go back. Because I can feel God if I don't see none of you. Amen. That's why he's called the comforter. Amen. He's called the comforter. Amen. You got a Holy Ghost you can't feel until you see a bishop. You ain't got the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost is a gift. That's right. The Bible said every good gift, every perfect gift come from above, come down from the Father of lights, of whom there is no variables, no shadow of turning. Yeah. All right. Temperate. Self-control. Yeah. Preacher got to have self-control. I don't care how much money you have. Don't practice always getting what you can get. 
because the Lord may put you in a predicament you can't get it. But being that you practice self-control and discipline, a day may come that if you can't get it, yes, you will govern yourself and you won't sin to keep up a particular style of life. That's right. You're temperate. temperate. The Bible says he that strive for the match is temperate. How much? All things. Glory to God. What he said? Holding fast the faithful word as he hath been taught. Who's teaching this elder here? The apostle. Who's teaching this bishop here? The apostle Paul. And he's been advised to hold what? Holding fast the faithful word as he hath been taught. Man, you got to have someone to teach you this doctrine. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. You just can't jump up in the pulpit and start galloping, galloping. And no, you got to have someone to teach you. Amen. A lot of men would do better if they had a teacher. teacher. But you got to be willing to be taught. That's right. Anytime a man feels as though he's too old to be taught, he's a fool. Oh, yeah. For the Bible says, age men are not always wise. Didn't I say so? Amen. What he said? Holding fast the faithful word as he hath been taught. That he what? That he may be able by sound doctrine. Wait a minute. Once he get, once he get the word in him, it'll be what? Sound doctrine. When your doctrine is sound, you won't have your wife with the first lady. Yeah. You won't have the women preachers there. Uh -uh. Nope. No, 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 no. You won't do that. Mm -mm. Your wife will work in the church like everybody else. That's right. Ushers won't be ushering with earrings and lipstick and mini skirts and half naked. That's uh -uh. right. Won't be the body on the choir half naked. Uh -uh. No, 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 no. Uh, no, no homosexuals on the choir. Amen. Mm -mm, nah, uh, no organ playing behind you when you're supposed to be preaching. Be preaching. The word. Mm -mm, the all, word. all he need is the word. That's yeah. it. He don't need no music. Yeah. There's a time for all things. Yeah. Don't need no music. All you need is the word. That's it. God preacher don't preach with music. No. God preacher preach by the spirit. That's right. Huh? That's right. God preacher preach by the spirit. That's right. Not by music. Not by music. Music drown, music drown out the lies that's being told. Mm -hmm. All right, listen in. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. You see the preachers, someone playing, dan, 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 is that all right? Dan, dan, and God, dan, dan, God. Then when he switch, when the organ switch keys, dan, 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 and God. He switched. That's right. Come on back to Bible. Mm -hmm. Come on back to Bible. For not out words. Let's get some Bible for this in the book of Ecclesiasticus. In the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 32 and at verse 4. For not out words. Where there is a musician. Where there's a musician. And show not forth wisdom. Don't show forth wisdom. Out of time. Out of time. That's out of time, brother. You out of step. <laughs> out of step. You out of time, out of step, out of place. That's right. All right, finish up. Back in Titus 1 and verse 9. <coughs> uh -huh. Holding fast the faithful, the faithful, faithful word, words as he has been taught. That he may be able by sound. Sound. Doctrine. That's the only gospel we have to offer you. Sound. sound. So when men say, Pastor Jennings, I want to work with you. Are you sure? Are you sure? Think it over. That's right. Better think real good. Yeah. Because I ain't going to move from that Bible for nobody. Oh. I mean nobody. Oh. I mean nobody. Mm -mm. One nobody. Is this gospel rooting up people from all around the world. Mm -hmm. You don't find none of this being done nowhere in America. Where souls is coming in by thousands going down the water. Down the water. It takes God to send someone. That's right. To resurrect. The, hallelujah. To That's resurrect right. the conscience of creation. Amen. And God made choice among us yes, he did. and sent me. Hallelujah. I'm not boasting, but I know God sent me. That's right. I didn't send myself. <laughs> if I would have sent myself, I certainly wouldn't come here to Augusta. <laughs> <laughs> why, why would I send myself down here? Down here. I wouldn't come down here to no Augusta. Not here. <laughs> I'd go somewhere to the beach. That's right. Lay out there in the beach yeah. with a pina colada. <laughs> with a nice cold virgin daiquiri on the beach and yeah. get a tan. Oh, yeah. And here I am traveling all around the world killing myself so to hard. save hard haired stubborn folk. It's much easier to raise cattle. Yes. Raising cattle is more easier than dealing with people. Yeah. I mean if a cow gets stubborn you can get a double barrel shotgun put some hay on the end of it. He ain't gonna know. Put, it right, put the whole barrel in his mouth, blow his horns right off. But with people, you got to be patient with them, patient. And tall with them, and labor with them, and teach them. And when they come from all type of religious backgrounds, you got the task because now you got to undo all the junk that was done. I mean, a lot of the people mean right. 
and want to be right. Yeah. And it's the telecast that opened their eyes to make them realize they were wrong. Right. But when they come to walk with the truth of God, I, it's, like, it's like a mechanic. A church is a mechanic shop. Yeah. I got to take the manual of the scripture. Mm -hmm. And when I look at that brother, look at that sister, I got to go through the scripture and, man, get my tools out. Disconnect that lie. Disconnect that lie. Disconnect that lie. Got the wrong filter in there. That's why he think he's a preacher. <laughs> huh? Amen. Take that filter out. That filter out. Hey, this sister come in here. And she making all this noise. What kind of engine she got? Oh, my God, the girl thinks she's an evangelist. <laughs> huh? Take the whole engine out and give her just a four cylinder. <laughs> huh? Give her a four cylinder. That way she can take her time and walk with the Lord. Take her time. <laughs> you get what I'm telling you. Go ahead. Glory to God. Amen. What did he say here? Holding fast the faithful word as he has been taught. Holding fast the faithful word. As he has been taught. As he has been taught. That he may be able by sound doctrine. Uh, all I want is sound, 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 doctrine. sound men. That's it. That's it. Men that don't bargain, men that don't bow. Yeah. Not going to bow for money, not going to bow for legs, not going to bow right. for prosperity, not going to bow to notoriety, and not going to bow to the governments of the world. That's right. Not wishy-washy. Yeah. I don't worry you're going to listen to the truth. You keep listening to a bunch of false prophets, they're going to have you messed up. Yes, they will. They have you in and out, in and out, in and out. That's why the Bible says it's just in Revelation. Notice we got ears. But the language of God in the book of Revelation says, he that hath an ear, singular, to hear. Let him hear what the Spirit Say to the church, so even though we have ears, but we have to listen as if we got one ear. That's right. Be quick. That he may be able by sound doctrine both both to, to exalt. exhort and to convince the gainsayers. Why? For well, there, there are many, many unruly and vain talkers. This is why you got to be sound, and, brothers and mm -hmm. sisters, because there are many unruly and vain talkers and, and deceivers, deceivers. Especially they of the circumcision. Especially them that claim they're saved. Whose mouths must be stopped. What, 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 what we got to do to their mouths? Whose mouths must be stopped. <laughs> we have stopped the mouth of the false prophets. That's right. Until the Bible says, for so it is the will of God, oh, God. that with well doing, you put the silence, the ignorance of foolish men. That's right. You you believe it's a trinity? I stop your mouth. Yeah. You believe in divorce? I stop your mouth. Mm -hmm. You believe you can divorce and remarry? I stop your mouth. Right. You believe flesh and blood is in heaven? I stop your mouth. Mm -hmm. You believe there's more than one God? I stop your mouth. You believe you're a junior bishop? I stop your junior mouth. <laughs> you believe you can be a deaconess? I stop your mouth. There ain't no such thing in the Bible. Well, I'm a missionary. All right, well, you must be one by yourself because ain't no one in here one. <laughs> Come on back to Bible. Amen. Come on back to Bible. That's right. For so it is the will of whose God. Whose mouths must whose be mouths stopped. Must be spot, who subvert must be stopped. whole houses. Who subvert whole houses. And what are they doing, William? Teaching things which they ought not. For what reason? For filthy lucracy. I told you. Amen. The stuff is being taught in the church for what reason? For filthy lucracy. For money. Money. Come on. Remember the song in the 70s? Money, 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 money. Yeah. That's right. That's what you got in the churches. That's right. You watch any of these mega churches, they got one message yeah. prosperity. prosperity. Everything is centered around money. Yeah. That alone lets you to know they are satanic followers. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because when the Lord sent men, the Lord ain't never sent men to teach you how to get rich. The Lord sent men to teach you how to get right. That's right. You want to know what prosperity is? True prosperity is not a house. It's not money. It's not clothes. It's not land. True prosperity is the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of who God is. Are you listening? When you know that, oh, you got something rich then. All right, let's close out with Acts 238. Let's see what everybody got the do that did not do it last night. Acts chapter 2 and verse 38. Then Peter said unto them, repent. What? Then Peter said unto them, repent. I had a non-denominational brother went down last night. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Raise your hand, brother. I had a Baptist brother went down last night in the name of Jesus Christ. You got to do this. Wonderful. Repent. Everybody that's in the building this afternoon, if you bow your head and raise your hands and you was told to accept Christ where you sit at and you done that and thought you were saved, you've been hoodwinked, bamboozled, led astray, lied to. You no more saved than a dog can meow and a cat can bark. Amen. You ain't saved. No. Raise your head up and put your arms down. If you was told to pray a sinner's prayer, no such prayers in your Bible. If you were baptized and the preacher said, Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, and didn't do it in the name of Jesus Christ, like Jesus said it must be done, you're still not saved. And you're not baptized. Right. You're not born again. And you're not a Christian. Yeah. You're still a sinner. The word of God speaks plain then, here. Then Peter said unto them, repent. No, join the church. Repent. The hour of decision. Repent. Remember when Billy Graham was living? Yeah. Not one person got saved in the lifetime of his ministry. Mm. Not one. Not one. Billy Graham did not believe in the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, he, he did not believe in the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue. So that means he did not believe what Jesus told Nicodemus. You must be born of the water and of the spirit. That's right. Not one. Mm. Lord, thank God, not one. My Lord. The Holy Ghost said. Then Peter said unto them, repent. When you repent, you'll be sorry about your wrong. Yeah. Yeah. When you repent, you'll be repent. sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry about your wrong. You'll be convicted in your heart about your wickedness. And you'll have it in your mind to get right with God. That's right. Repent and do what? Repent and be baptized. No, be sprinkled. Repent and be baptized. Anybody here been sprinkled? You ain't baptized. I'm not baptized. Amen. Your whole body got to go in water. You'll Amen. find that in the sixth chapter of Romans. The, Romans. the Bible says we are buried with them by baptism. That's right. Repent and be baptized. Every one of you. How? In the name of Jesus Christ. For what reason? For the remission of sins. What you mean for the remission of sins? That's how you get your sins washed away or get your sins removed. Mm -hmm. And? And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Lord, Ghost. God, that's what God promised. That's right. He said the promises unto you and to your children and to them that is afar right. off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. Anybody want to obey God? Anybody want to obey the word of God? And be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Stand on your feet now if you want to get it right. Anybody in the back, if there's anybody in the back want to be baptized, let them come to the front. All in the back that want to be baptized, come to the front. All in the back that want to be baptized, come on to the front. Come on. All in the back that want to be baptized. Come on. Hey. Hallelujah. Dear God. Wonderful, wonderful. All of y'all can just stand right across the front, right across the front. You can make a line all across here. Wonderful. Anybody else back there want to be baptized? Just come on. Wonderful. Just come on. Y'all can come all across here. Come on. God, who in the world can say this is not the work of the apostles? Every preacher under the sun might as well get prepared to walk with holiness. That's right. You might as well come under it and walk with it and obey it. Hallelujah. Now, all, all of my sisters, all the sisters, you go through that door over there. All the men come over here to my left and go that way. All the women go that way. All the men go that way.